Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this fully loaded 2006 Holiday Rambler Vacationer 37 PCT Triple Slide High End Class A Gas Motorhome. This is fully loaded for a Class A Gas Motorhome, has the full body paint, has the 22.5 aluminum Alcoa wheels, dual pane windows, and a full walk on fiberglass roof. Let's go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up by showing you the outside. Overall exterior length is 37 feet. 5 inches and the exterior height to the dual low profile AC units is 12 feet 6 inches. This is a third owner coach. The current owner bought it off my website two years ago and the only reason why he's selling it he wants to go back to something smaller. Give you an idea of the floor plan here. Coach has 43,200 miles. All right, start off, this is a triple slide coach. First slide out's a super slide, accommodates the height of bed sleeper sofa, and it is a cloth finish on the fabric. Uh, the cloth, there's nothing wrong with the cloth, but the cushions obviously are showing some wear, so the three cushions need to be replaced. And this is a height of bed queen. Also in the super slide, is the table and chairs. Show off those colors. I do want to point out the cabinets are called a Newport Cherry. Popular color from Holiday Rambler. Alright, on the day-night shades, these are the traditional old day-night shades they used to put in them. Uh, anyway, they're, they're showing some wear, some sign of aging. Uh, let me show you here. Strings broken. Anyway, I would take all four of these blinds out and put in roller blinds. And uh, MCD makes uh, some of the best ones, but they're just roller blackout blinds. And they have some knockoff, but shouldn't be too much to replace the four in here. And there's two in the back bedroom I would replace, and I'll try to show that to you also. All right, and in the hutch area here, it is pretty much fully loaded. Washer-dryer combo by Splendid. There's a Splendid badge right there. And you do have Corian countertops all throughout this coach, even in the bathroom. Not the laminate or Formica top there you're usually going to find in a Class A gas motorhome. Pan around in the kitchen area here. This is going to be the largest refrigerator they offered in 2006 for a gas motorhome. 12 cubic foot, side by side refrigerator, four door with ice maker. Back up here and kind of show that off to you. Refrigerators by Norcold. Show that Norcold badge right there. Nice raised wood Newport cherry finish on the doors. Lots of counter space. Again, Corian countertop finish. Definitely the best you're going to get in a Class A gas motorhome. Huge undermounted. Looks like a stone cast sink uh, versus your stainless steel sink you usually find, but definitely nice pull-out sprayer faucet, water filtration system. Do you have a two burner gas cooktop by Armana? There's your Armana badge right there, Armana. And you do have a beautiful Corian, solid Corian backsplash here also, not that peel and stick stuff that you probably would find usually. Convection oven. Usually you'll have a microwave, so since you have a convection oven, you do not need the traditional RV oven, so you have more storage. Pretty nice. I do also want to point out, as far as the condition in here, the carpets have not been cleaned. The owner has not detailed this coach whatsoever, but the carpets could use a good cleaning. Uh, the padding still plush. Um, normal wear and tear for 2006. We're going into 2020 now, so definitely uh, carpets could use a good cleaning. Oh, show off those cabinets. You have that plank flooring finish on all your high traffic areas throughout. Nice vanity area. And again, queen countertops. Usually you'll have a Formica top in a Class A gas motorhome. Or a laminate, nice medicine cabinet. Show off that neo angle one piece fiberglass shower. 
with seating area, which is nice. Huge skylight, by the way. You also have one in the kitchen area. I'll try to show you if I don't forget. Soft touch vinyl ceiling, by the way. Private commode, foot flush porcelain toilet with sprayer. There's your fantastic vent fan there. Two fantastic vent fans. Walking in the master bedroom. This is going to be your second slide out. It's going to be a huge closet slide. TV, uh, definitely I would take that out. That's the old TV. Take it out. 100 bucks. put it in a flat screen. A little office area here in the corner. And a little accent chair. I would take that accent chair out. It seems like it's more in the way. Thing. But anyway. Uh, oh, it's fabric. I'll show that cloth cloth fabric finish on that and the little office chair this is the one of the shades in the bedroom that I would say definitely replace it with just a roller uh, MCD roller blind blackout blind and I definitely do definitely the rear too all right this is gonna be your third slide out queen slide bed and uh, the queen bed does lift up show off that headboard beautiful headboard by the way All right, kind of paint around here. I do want to point out, uh, there's a three-way light switch. This is a switch for the living room ceiling lights, but anyway, kind of a pain in the neck trying to figure out why the lights aren't on, but it's three-way lights, so you can turn on the living room lights from the bedroom, which is definitely nice, nice feature. Okay, it's gonna be your command center, thermostat control right here, easy to figure out. Just below that is your system heat. Uh, this has the Arctic package on it. Basically, you can go into cold weather and this switch right here, turn on your 12 volt heat pads on your holding tanks. Energy start and stop button. This is gonna be your tank monitor here. It tells you where you're on your holding tanks. Water pump switch right here. And to the right of that is your water heater switch. 10 gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. Just below that are your slide buttons. Just below that is your 2000 watt inverter. And just below that is your energy management system. It tells you how many amps you're pushing, which is definitely nice to have on a Class A gas motorhome. All right, there's your skylight in the kitchen. That may have been a, an option. There's your fantastic vent fan, two fantastic vent fans. Soft touch vinyl ceiling does add for insulation also. Dual pane windows on this coach, definitely a nice feature on a Class A gas motorhome. So if you're going into extreme weather, you're definitely going to be a lot cooler or a lot warmer. Uh, up here, this is going to be your rocker recliner, uh, ultra leather finish. Excellent condition other than the owner, previous owner had a cat, and I guess it used to perch up here while they were driving. And anyway, shows little claw marks there. A little bit of claw marks on the co-pilot seat. See if I can get it in there. And it's just right up here. The rest of the chair on both the pilot and co-pilot seat are also in excellent showroom condition. Chairs are by Flex Steel, best you're going to get. See, just a little bitty claw marks right there. It's really a non-issue, just cosmetic. But find it important to point out. All right, let me back up here, getting ahead of myself. Upgraded TV up in the front. This did have the old traditional TV. And anyway, uh, about a 32-inch flat screen. Nice office station here, pulls out, and you do have a 12 volt hookup uh, somewhere around in there. There it is, and 110 hookup down there. This is going to be your uh, black and white monitor for your backup camera. Uh, the owners have upgraded the cameras, so these cameras, uh, they're they're worthless in my opinion. They're all fogged up. The owners bought all three side view cameras or both side view cameras and the backup camera and they're all color and they're wireless and he also has a color monitor and uh, once it's installed he's not he hasn't installed it so uh, whoever buys it I'm guessing you can install it. it's pretty easy install and just mount the color monitor right there and your upgraded backup camera system is ready to go all right your buttons here uh, to the right starting from the right is your uh, pilot and co-pilot shades power shades which are right there I've got them down and just next to that, to the left of that, is your battery boost button right there. It ties your house battery and chassis battery together. Generator start and stop button. Mileage on it, not sure if you can see it, 43,200 miles. 
and uh, over here this is going to be your overdrive six speed automatic transmission there's your gray brake which is your exhaust brake fog lights heated mirrors and auto leveling right there and your parking brake button right there workhorse chassis has an 8.1 liter 340 horsepower engine with 455 foot pounds of torque pan around here all right coach has 5,000 pound towing capability and I always forget to turn off the generator Beautiful full body paint, best paint job you're gonna, best finish you're gonna get on a Class A gas motorhome, hands down. Full body paint, no decals. Uh, the front mask, 3M mask, is showing some wear, showing some cracking. If you wanted to get that taken off, go to a body shop. I'm sure you can get a pretty good quote on that to get it taken off, but if you don't mind it, then it's really a non issue. One piece windshield, big deal in 06. Beautiful chrome heated bus style mirrors. Definitely a nice feature for 2006 on a Class A gas. 18 foot power awning. The power awning motor is going bad. So it's about a $300 part. And 22.5 aluminum alcohol wheels. Best you're gonna get. The tires are only, uh, they were installed two years ago, but they're, uh, they were manufactured third week of 2015. And they are good years. And they are in excellent condition. Side hinged. Insulated baggage doors, big deal. For a Class A gas motor home in 06. These are diesel pusher ops features that I'm showing you right now. Pass through storage. There's your cameras uh, packet, the new cameras. The owners just hadn't had a chance to put them on. There's your 24 gallon LP tank. Again, beautiful 22.5s. Aluminum alcohol wheels, polished. Good looking. A lot better looking than those 19.5s you'll find usually. Brand new batteries, brand new chassis battery also. Huge storage, and again, pass through storage right there too. Beautiful rear molded fiberglass cap. That is another thing you're not going to find on a on a uh, Class A gas motorhome. I will say this on the back, the owner, the previous owner, if I remember right, backed into something. So uh, on that ladder, so the ladder just needs to be replaced. That's the only thing that's damaged. And back here, little, little scrape, little touch-up paint. And if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't even notice it. This has full awning package and your slide-out awnings. The bedroom slide-out awning is separating from the roof of the RV. It's a $300 awning, uh, so if you want to get it replaced, fine. If not, it's still operational, but it's just uh, detached. It's going to be 50 amp service, marine style cord. There's your 2,000 watt inverter. Water hookups here, and it is uh, heated. That little space heater there, it's what Holiday Rambler does to heat the uh, water hookups area. So you can go into cold weather without worrying about your tanks freezing up. There's your 75 gallon fuel cell on this coach. And again, beautiful 22.5 alcohol wheels. Let me pan down. There's no rock dents or anything on the baggage doors. 5500 Onan Marquise gasoline generator. Let me show the hours on it. I don't know if you can see it. 657 hours on the generator. Low hours. And again, pass through storage on the back side. Insulated baggage doors are definitely a huge feature on this coach. And back up here show off that color scheme there's that vacationer badge right there full walk-on fiberglass roof big deal full body paint huge deal 22.5 aluminum alcohol wheels another big deal one piece windshield the chrome heated bus style mirrors you got air horns the Hadley air horns up top there 
Oh, you are missing Holiday Rambler logo badge right there. It's a little blue HR badge that usually went there. Your headlights aren't fogged up at all. Kind of show off. See the cracking in that 3M mask? That's just in that film that they put on the front. But anyway, I find it important to point out everything that may be a concern to a potential buyer. I know I didn't get everything. Coach could use a few little detailed touch-up areas. The back corner, it's got that scrape. The awning motor is going bad. That's a $300 feature. And, and the MCD uh, blind upgrade for the blinds inside, if you wanted to do that, definitely I could imagine it being more than $500. And then a carpet cleaning. So anyway, all right. Well, uh, if you want to come and see the coach, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.